Hey guys, today's video is a first impression on the Zone 3 Volare racing goggles. Now these are $45 on their website and I've been wearing my arena tracks this weekend. I'll put it up here if I'm wrong, but I think they're about $50. So they're like the same price. I am vlogging the Wenatchee Apple Capital, so you guys can watch that right here. That was last week's video. And I'm just really excited to try these out. I'll get some GoPro footage for you underwater. All right, so opening up the box, I can immediately tell that the sides of them are really stiff. If you look, they do look pretty similar. Hold up, someone commented on one of my videos asking what the difference between the Arena Cobra Cores and Cobra Ultras was, and honestly, I didn't know either. I have just tried out the Cobra Cores, so I looked up the Ultras, and I found out that the Ultras have a stiff side. So the Cobra Cores are more of a practice type goggle because they're not as tight fitting to your face. I'll have a picture up on the screen, of course. But as you can see, the Cobra Ultras have the really stiff side, just like these Zone 3 goggles. So through the whole video, I compare them to the Arena Cobra cores and I'm like oh these goggles are so much tighter fitting to your face because they have this really cool part that goes all the way along the side of your eye when actually that's just because I have the cheaper arena version so since I'm not comparing these to the ultras at all through the video I looked it up now the ultras are $60 whereas these Valeres which are more similar to the ultras are only 45 so they are almost the same as the ultras and they're $15 cheaper just keep that in mind <laughs> So all the extra nose pieces are here. The adjustment pieces look nice and similar. I'm gonna go ahead and try them on now. You can see my lovely pink cheeks because it's really hot here. Ow! Pulling my hair. They're actually extremely comfortable and they feel just like these. So I will try them in warm up and do a start in warm up. And if all goes well, I'll wear them for my race. So I will see you guys after warm up. Alright guys, I am out of warm up and I absolutely love these goggles. I did a start in them and they felt just like the arena tracks. I definitely trust these goggles for in my race so I'm excited to wear them for that and we'll get to see the final verdict at the end. Alright, I will see you guys after my race. I'm done with my races today. We're back at the hotel and I have both goggles here. He also tried them in a race, which he'll talk about in just a second. I like these goggles better than my arena tracks. And there are a few reasons why, and I'll show you guys. These just fit a lot more snug to your face. And also I find that like when I take my goggles off, my hair will get caught in the strap on the arenas. But since this had the nice piece, I had a good spot to grab when I took them off and my hair didn't get like wrapped around the strap or anything. The zone goggles are a little bit cheaper, but I like them better. What did you think about them? <laughs> yeah, I felt the same way. They were a little bit larger, so they were more comfortable than the arenas. I was a little bit nervous about trying them out. Lindsay talked me into doing it. I uh, forced him to do yeah, it. Yeah, I know. I was worried about them being on my neck on the start. They uh, tuck under the cap really well in the corners because of that little extra tail on it. I actually noticed that when I climbed out of the pool, I didn't have to smash them on my eyes, which you don't have to smash the arenas on your eyes either. The suctions on both are just a lot softer, but I found that with the Zone 3 goggles, I got out of the pool, finished drying off, took off my top cap before even taking these off because they were so comfortable that I just left them on as like sunglasses for a few minutes because I was like, well, 
Yeah, that's, They're that's comfy. true. I finished my race and I, I kept them on as I walked over to the warm warm down pool. And I never do that. My other goggles, I can't wait to pull them off because they're just suctioning yeah. into my eyes. And these, I, I just left them on. So these would also be super awesome for distance swimmers. One of the most painful things in distance swimming is when your goggles start to dig in. These are great goggles. I highly recommend them and I will be wearing them at every meet. Definitely. <laughs> unless I steal them. <laughs> I know, unless you take them. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't convince Anna to try them in a race. I tried, guys. Yeah, I really yeah. tried, but she is so freaking stubborn that she was like, I'm not trying new goggles in a race. I feel the slightest bit weird. She won't wear them. No, she won't wear my Jolin tiebacks either because she doesn't like the way the tie feels. Anyway, <laughs> that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please check out the Wenatchee vlog from last week. Just click the little eye up there and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below if you've tried these goggles and what you think of them and also some other goggle recommendations. I love trying out goggles. Subscribe if you haven't already to see my next videos. Bye. Bye. No, stop. No, no, no. What? <laughs>